Hi guys, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be showing you another original design by me. This cute little acorn charm, and I have um, a squirrel figurine also, and I will be doing a tutorial for him soon. So once um, I have the tutorial up for him, you can um, put them together and make a little duo. So let's get started. You'll need your loom set up in the staggered configuration with the arrows pointing towards you. You'll need your hook and rubber bands and I'm using Rainbow Loom Burgundy and Rainbow Loom Caramel which I heard that is being discontinued and I'm really unhappy about that because it's like the best brown out there and um, if you're watching this Rainbow Loom uh, please please don't discontinue them <laughs> it's like my favorite color that they have so um, let's get started so first we're going to be making the sides of the acorn and we're gonna take two rubber bands and go down once anywhere on your loom and go down again anywhere else on your loom so double bands and then you're gonna cap each off four times and make sure you cap the other one off too three four four there we go and then just loop up and try not to stretch them out that much and you'll need some sort of holding hook I'm using these little ones and then you're going to almost take it off not all the way and then you're going to take it and put it on your holding hook you could you don't have to use a hook you can use a pencil or whatever you want probably like a toothpick if you don't have little hooks like these but so these are the sides and now we're going to be making the acorn so we're going to go down around we're going to go down three times in the middle so with burgundy so make sure you're taking double bands and you're going down three times like this and then we're gonna go out to the sides so first we're gonna go to the right with double bands and then we're gonna go to the left and I'm getting broken rubber bands there we go and then we're gonna go down one row on each um, pegs once with double bands like this and then we're going to go down three times with caramel on the left so make sure you're going down three times with double bands and then we're going to take double bands and we're going to go to the center like that and then we're going to do the same on the other side so this is caramel, so you're going to go down three times with your caramel, and then you're going to go to the center. And then we're just going to finish up the center with caramel again. So you're going to go down four times in the center with caramel. And remember, these are double bands okay now we're gonna add on the um, the sides so we're gonna add it onto that peg this is the one two three four fifth peg down so we're gonna put it on like that so you should have it on there and then we're gonna rotate it and put the other one on the other side There we go. And now we have the sides of the acorn on. And now we're going to put holding rubber bands. So we're going to take two caramel and we're going to go over those three pegs with caramel. So this is double caramel. So go over these three pegs in a triangle. 
then take two and then go over those three pegs and then take two and go over those three pegs so you should have three triangles in the center and then we're going to take a single caramel and cap off the last peg four times so now we have our little acorn set up so then we're going to go into the cap band and get the top two and loop it up and if you have any tension just release it so then we're going to go back in and we'll get the next two and bring it to the right and get the next two and bring it to your left then we'll loop up the right side first so go and get the bottom one so pull that back and loop the bottom one up there should be two rubber bands and on this one we have our little side of our acorn so you're just gonna get the bottom two and just loop up like normal and when you get to here we're gonna bring that one to the center now we're gonna do the left side so just like the right you're getting the bottom two I'm looping up and make sure you see teardrops and again just get the bottom two and go to the center like that and then you should finish up the middle and the middle is the easiest because you're just looping up and remember you should see teardrops okay so now we've like looped up the body if that's what you want to call it of the acorn and now we're going to loop up the little um, stem or whatever you want to call that so go on all those rubber bands and get the bottom two and loop up and then we're going to loop up all the way to the last peg and then we're going to take a single burgundy and we're going to make a slip knot on this peg so take your burgundy single and make a slip knot right here don't pull too hard we don't want it to break and then you can begin taking it off with the back of your hook and use your back if you have a crochet hook like this one and Rainbow Loom is actually coming out with the metal hook and I pre-ordered mine off of justinstoys.com and it should be shipping March 25th I think that's a Tuesday so it will be shipping then and I'm gonna do a review video of the new hook versus the old hook so watch for that on my channel soon and when you take it off it should look like this it turned out really awesome and then we're gonna hide the slip knot so go in it and get it and just pull through and you can still see it so we'll go on the other side and bring it through again like this and now we have our finished acorn charm this is a pretty easy charm to do and like I said I'm gonna have my tutorial for um, the acorn uh, the squirrel itself coming soon also and yeah so I made the stem on this one a little longer it looks but um it doesn't matter you can make it as long as you want but it's up to you so here is our finished product and it looks pretty good and I'm gonna pull on the cat band just to make it a little thinner it's uh, so fat it looks pretty fat and there we go so here we have our little acorns and um, I hope you like this tutorial on how to make it and like if you liked it and comment down below if you have any suggestions and I will have the squirrel tutorial up very soon as well and so thank you guys for watching comment like and subscribe and happy looming.